Hi, I'm Chris and I'm an amateur landscape photographer and vlogger based in Cumbria in the northwest of England. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what I look for in a camera for vlogging and why I've just bought a Canon M50. So this is my new vlogging camera. It's a Canon M50, which I bought from Wilkinson's in Kendall for about £650. And that was for a kit that included this 15 to 45 millimeter lens. Now the camera only arrived in store yesterday morning and I picked it up yesterday afternoon and I've been waiting for it for quite a while. And so I'm very excited to finally get my hands on it. So without further ado, let's jump straight in to the things that I look for for a camera for vlogging. Yes, yes it is a Canon. I'm a Canon man, I've been using Canon cameras for over 12 years. It's actually the first thing that I look for in a camera for anything. This isn't an unbiased review, I want this camera to be really good. It does. As you can see here, I've paired it up with a Rode VideoMic Micro, which I bought from Amazon for about £40. The camera that I currently use for vlogging is a Canon M10, and that doesn't have a microphone input, which means I need to record my audio separately and then sync it all up together in iMovie afterwards, which is a real pain in the arse. So this is my main reason for wanting to upgrade my vlogging camera, and so that I can spend a little less time editing my videos and a little more time with some of the luxuries in life like sleeping and spending time with my wife. Absolutely, and that's another really important feature in a vlogging camera. As you can see, the screen pops out to the side, so it's not obscured by the microphone. And that means I can keep myself in frame at all times while I'm vlogging. Well, it comes with Canon's dual pixel autofocus, which according to some people is the best autofocus in the business, particularly for video. Now, I haven't had time to test this out properly yet, but first impressions are really good. When I'm vlogging handheld, it locks onto my face and keeps me nicely in focus at all times. The 15 to 45 mm lens that came with this camera has got image stabilization, and that coupled with in body digital stabilization should mean an end to shaky shots. And that will free me up from my tripod and allow me to be a lot more spontaneous when talking to camera in future. Yes and no. Whilst technically this shoots in 4K, it has a 26 times crop, turning this 15mm lens into a 38mm lens, and that's far too long for vlogging. Worse than that, the dual pixel autofocus doesn't work when you're shooting in 4K, and for that reason I'm going to be sticking to 1080p. It certainly does. At 1080p, this will shoot at 50 frames per second, which is perfect for making me look cool and my panning shots look silky. So let's cue the slow-mo montage. Yes, it does, and one of them is the ability to automatically copy images to my mobile phone. That means that next time I'm out on a shoot, I can grab my phone, do a quick edit in Snapseed, and share on Instagram or Twitter. For the vlogger looking to stay connected with their audience, that's an incredibly powerful feature. <laughs> Unfortunately not but it should help me make much more professional looking videos for you all to enjoy. Now, while it's not all about gear, having reliable kit should allow me to focus on what's important, namely telling engaging stories. So that's just about it from me for this week. I've put Amazon affiliate links for the M50 and the Rode VideoMic Micro in the description below. 
If this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, you might want to consider subscribing. But this is a rare thing. I don't often do gear reviews. Most of my videos are about landscape photography in the Lake District National Park. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and hopefully I'll see you next time when I'll be putting the M50 through its paces in a proper vlog.